I have removed hundreds of hornets and yellow jackets nests from people's houses, thousands of stinging wasps. I have been stung countless times and I've been in some pretty extreme nest removal situations that could have easily killed me. So in this video, I am sharing the five most extreme European hornet nests I have ever removed. Stick around to the end of the video to see my top pick of my most extreme European hornet nest removal. So first let's get into what a European hornet actually is. European hornets are a type of wasp and are the only true hornet established in the United States and measuring up to two inches long and a wingspan of over two inches in diameter. They are the most intimidating wasp species swarm that I encounter here in PA. Their stingers are over a quarter inch in length and because of its length, it can pierce through multiple layers of clothing, including my bee suit. They're also a species that not only stings by injecting their venom, they also shoot their venom mid-flight up to a meter in distance into the eyes of anyone who disturbs their colonies. Take it from me, venom in the eyes is real and no joke. Just finished the removal. European hornet sprayed venom in my eye twice. So I got venom shot in both of my eyes. <laughs> it goes away quick. Just kind of rub it out and then uh, yeah, the itchiness goes away pretty quick. So, but it looks ridiculous for a little while. <laughs> now. Onto our top five countdown of the most extreme European hornet nests I ever removed. Number five, nests in the soffit. Having a client contact me for a nest removal within their soffit is pretty common, but for the species to be a very active European hornet colony is not quite as common. This colony was very sensitive and began swarming just by my ladder being set up. Three quarters of the workers came out to swarm and attack. And being that this colony was about 800 strong, that was quite an intense experience. The nest was dense with several hundred live larvae inside, causing this nest to weigh about five pounds. And with all those larvae, makes for a perfect snack for my chickens and turkey. Nest number four, massive nest in an apartment ceiling. This nest was the largest girth nest I have ever removed. Obviously, some kind of <laughs> infestation, but these are European hornets. When I walked into this apartment, I could smell the waste stench. The drywall ceiling had a two foot diameter circular stain and I knew that the nest was just above it. I opened the ceiling and I couldn't believe the size of this nest. I just want everybody to appreciate how big it is. Let's look how big my, look at my hand compared to this. Pulling it down in one piece, it was 34 inches at its widest point and easily the widest girth nest I have ever removed from a client's home. Separating the comb layers revealed how many males and queens were in between those layers. The numbers at peak season were easily in the lower 1000s. The homeowner was astounded that this massive nest was in her ceiling and was so glad that it was gone. This nest was recycled and fed to my chickens and my squirrels. Hey, squirrel. Thank you, squirrel. Nest number three, a box full of hornets. This client had a decorative empty wooden box on their front porch. This enclosed space within the box was perfect for a European hornet queen to set up for her new empire. Since this client hardly ever used their front door and mainly used the back, this colony went unnoticed for months while it carved up their empire into close to a thousand strong. While this colony was definitely sensitive, they didn't pay me much mind while I was setting up my gear. But as I was trying to be stealthy by picking off guards and workers with my vacuum, the chair I was sitting on thumped down onto the wood porch and disturbed all the guards inside the box. 
The swarm was absolutely intense, and there were hundreds of angry hornets swarming, attacking, and demonstrating how they specifically attacked towards the eyes of the offender. This nest was close to three feet tall and 14 inches in diameter. Packed with larvae, this nest weighed eight pounds. My vacuum was packed with hundreds of adult wasps at the end of this removal, which I dumped out onto my compost pile. And as with all my nests, it was removed from a client's house and fed to my chickens for recycling. Nest number two, a tree trunk full of hornets. A client called me to remove a hornet's nest from a tree trunk on their property. And as I'm an advocate for letting nature do its thing, this nest was so sensitive that it attacked him while he was mowing his grass on his lawnmower. A true testament to just how sensitive this colony was, they all began swarming just because my camera and tripod were within 10 feet of that tree. I knew I'd had my work cut out for me. I started doing damage control, vacuuming the guards and workers who were attacking and swarming. The numbers of the swarm were insane, and I could feel them pelting me on the back of the head, and I could smell their venom as they injected it through my veil. Thank God that I had safety glasses on to avoid venom in my eyes. Since the client was going to cut this tree down anyway, I was able to cut the nest out with my chainsaw to ensure the whole colony was removed and destroyed. The entire height of this nest was three and a half feet with a max width of 14 inches. Lots of larvae that made my animals happy with a nice feast. Now before I get to my number one, most extreme European hornet colony I've ever removed, here are a couple honorable mentions. This was the first European hornet nest I have ever removed and it was intense to have them swarming me. Not only was this the first European hornet nest I've ever removed, but it was also the first European hornet larva my chickens ever tasted. This attic nest was a decent size, but with all attic nest removals, they're always precarious. Since it's completely dark in there, there's no easy way to escape if something goes wrong. But this removal went smoothly and with so little swarming. If you've been enjoying this video, please consider tapping the like button. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe to the channel and become a part of the Hornet King Colony. Don't forget to subscribe. So now my top pick from my most extreme European hornet nest I've ever removed. Number one, the largest European hornet nest I have ever removed from someone's house. This client had noticed an awful odor in her workout room and she couldn't tell where it was coming from. She also saw a stain on her ceiling and she called me to investigate when she noticed some hornets flying around her roof. When I saw the stain and smelled the raw sewage smell, I had to be the bearer of bad news that this was a massive European hornet nest above her ceiling. The client wanted it out. I cut into the ceiling and the numbers of the adult wasps was incredible. They began flooding out of the hole that I made and the stench of the raw sewage from the hornet's waste became almost unbearable. As I was extracting this nest, I realized the hornets weren't the only inhabitants of this space. But there's a yellow jacket's nest above it. So they built on top of a yellow jacket's nest. The hornets had actually built their nest on the bottom of an old yellow jacket's nest. This hornet's nest was about 24 inches wide at its widest point, but it was easily 24 inches tall and chock full of larva. This nest weighed the heaviest at a whopping 10 pounds. I separated the comb layers one by one 
and the amount of workers, males, and queens was incredible. And all the larvae were recycled by being fed to my animals. So that was my top five pick of my most extreme European hornet nests I've ever removed. All these nest removal videos are here on my YouTube channel and you can watch the full removal of each video with links in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this different style of video. Drop in the comments and tell me which removal was your favorite or most interesting. Thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.